Cap 7 Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Wolf Weigel, and we're talking about attacking a forge op at the collegiate level. You know, a lot of the fundamentals that we're talking about are really useful at any level, but we'll just talk about some things that um, I do at the college level. So one thing I like to do is I like to have my strongest or one of my strongest shooters play, play this position over here in the pool. A lot of teams, when they run a zone, will do a drop from 3-4, 4-5 from the weak side, a 4 drop, okay? Because really, this is if this is a right-hander, <clears throat> this is the worst angle in the pool. And if you're going to leave someone, you want to leave this play, player more. Just basically, generally in defense, you want to leave the player with the worst angle, the worst uh, percentages. That's not to say this player is not going to take the ball and score a bar in, but they, they're going to have a lot harder time scoring that goal from this position. So I like to put a really strong shooter over here okay, to try and uh, minimize the damage of a team just dropping off and having someone who can't really shoot having to drive them through. So I'm not going to try and drive this player down or around, have to deal with anything. That I know I've got a strong shooter here, and now I'm going to try and isolate this shooter if they're dropping hard off the four position. Okay, so really one thing you can do is just do a simple two or three drive where you're clearing out, creating some space, and then you're wrapping up and you're getting a, you're one of your best shooters in this position, okay, against this drop. All right, on a fundamental level, you have to be prepared. If, the, if they do this and this player sprints over, and this player comes up and they try and guard the players with one player, that this player, no, no one is relaxing. Everyone on offense needs to be ready to move in and take their position um, where it needs to be. So a lot of times you'll see a player on the weak side of the pool where the action isn't, where the ball is just sort of drifting out, and then their player can come step over. So anytime your player comes over, this player's got to be ready to, to slide in hard. Then this player comes, then this player's got to be ready. So it's sort of a... It's really building the fundamentals that every player is going to be on their legs, active, ready to attack in, and take the open water. That's the main thing to really get out of this.